everyone and welcome back to the semi-finals of the second seasonal qualifier here at Grey Ogre Games. My name's Mick. I'm your host for today. We're watching the match here between Kelvin Chu and Liu Zuoren. These two giants have made it to the semi-finals of the second seasonal qualifier. Kelvin Chu is Singapore's uh, one and only uh, platinum pro player he is going first he has already qualified for the well it's most likely that he is qualified for the top 16 spots in the seasonal uh, in the Grey Ogre Games Invitationals but hey who knows and uh, Toran here well I, uh, I remember seeing him uh, do very well last year he did not make it into the top 16 but posted very very good results here playing today as well and playing this season and this year uh obviously posting pretty good results especially since he's here in the top four hopefully we'll be able to land himself a spot in the top 16 later this year Right. Kelvin here going to start off with a uh what should we call it? with a champion of wits and discards a Nico Bolas and a uh and a torrential gearhawk. Yeah, order placed. Ooh. Why didn't he add the... Hmm. Hey, wait a minute. Why is there only two two items here? Yeah. Can you go and try to contact these guys? Right. You go under my orders. Okay. So. Creature after creature after creature, Toran is putting on the pressure. This meets a uh, essence scatter yeah. from Kelvin Chu's side. Toran right. just passes the turn. His board is going to be huge next turn. Um, Try giving it a call. What? Yeah, by right it should be like <coughs> two of that and then four of the of the fried rice. So anyway, this is yeah. black Let's white black white mid range aggro? Uh this is black white knights. Black white probably, knights. Yeah. Uh, black white knights versus Grixis. Uh Grixis mid range. Mid range? Yeah. Like there we go. Untap. Draw a card. <laughs> make my bot humongous. Plus two plus one. And that's I think number one thing, just go attack, right? And then let's see what Kelvin has up his sleeves. That's nine power, I think. Nine? Yeah, yeah that's, nine, that's power. nine power. Goodness. Nine power coming in. What does Kelvin have to reply to this? Fatal push. Last guy's contempt. I mean, Probably a contempt. La. Contempt would be very good here. Contempt on the white knight token. Oh, oh she was content. content on that. Yeah, I think, yeah, he contempts that. <laughs> Alright, so gains two, takes four. So it takes two total. Not too bad, not too bad. Mm -hmm. mm. I follow up with Walking wow, Ballista. Okay, wow. Walking Ballista and just passes the turn. It's okay, awesome. It's a, it's a really right time to cast the Ballista too. Because mm. uh, the Ballista usually when it comes down is a confirmed damage when it resolves. Because mm. you're just going to shoot the... Oh, what's oh, wrong? Oh, oh, oh. Yes. What? Can I call them? There's no calling number. Okay. Mm. Just open your ticket lah and ask them to 
Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, okay. We just let them over here. Cast down. It's gonna do you two points of damage. Go down to ten. And Bolas hits the field. Okay, so All right. forces Zoran to discard a Shafet Dunes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, Bolas is a 4 4 flyer, so that knight's not going to do anything. Let's see, what answers does Zoran have for a flyer? I guess he, he runs four cast outs, so casting out Bolas here very. Would, <coughs> be, would be very, very good. Yeah, it would be optimal. Mm. He also has Fatal Push, but that one requires a bit more setup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Torrance is gonna read <laughs> what does Bolas do when he's flipped because 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah. Because if Kelvin draws a land next turn, he can just uh, you can just flip, flip it, yeah. Bolas. Mm -hmm. Right, and he's gonna hit a cast out, right? That's fast. Yep. Yeah. He doesn't even wait for. Well, he should wait for Kelvin to spend the seven mana. To spend the seven mana, right? Right. Uh, but it, no, you want to get the damage in anyway. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, Kelvin has a s another alternate play uh, at sev with seven mana, so I think for him it is fine. I mean, draw yeah. four, discard two. Not too bad. Refilling his hand. Yeah, Torren here needs to just get the last points of damage in. Hmm. Fatal push there gets uh, thrown into the graveyard, I believe. Uh, which means, which yep. kind of indicates that Kelvin actually does have a lot more removal in hand. Yep. He has to answer the knight. Gideon coming down, targeting the eternalized uh, champion. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but Kelvin, I'm pretty sure like Kelvin's got like. That's second bolas in his hand. Yep. Yeah. A lot more. He has a lot of threats. <laughs> Wait, so Kelvin runs... Oh, he does run red sources, right? Because I thought his yep. only red sources were off Eater Hub. Second Bolas here. Gets Soren to discard a card. He's going to follow it up with what? Champion of Wits? No, Doomfall. Doomfall. Get rid of your only creature. And right. now Soren's kind of backed up into a corner. Yep, Kelvin is applying a pres the pressure. Oh, wow. I think you zero the Gideon and try to smack. Oh, a second oh, cast wow. out. Oh, wow. Okay, so second cast out. I'm going to keep your your guy tapped mm. down. But Kelvin, you know, netted two extra cards. He's got to... I mean, he's got to have something, right? Yeah, I mean, right now, Torrance is just playing off the top of his deck and Kelvin has a 4-4 four -four in play. And he's got also got Torrential Gearhound in hand, so... Oh, oh no. <laughs> he just has to play oh around, no. play around, uh, you know. Oh, no. Well, he can't play around it. It's going to be yeah. tough because Raskas Contempt is just going it, to yeah, wreck th him. These kind of decks aren't supposed to play around it. Yeah, I think he's going to counter it with uh, your Gearhound. No, Raskas Contempt, get rid of your Gideon. Ah, for sure. right. Gains two life, <clears> goes up to ten, and now this is the beatdown. Right, because G he didn't, Zoran didn't activate Gideon before he casted the knight. No, he did, he did. Oh, he did? He All activated right. Gideon and then casted the knight. Alright, cool. But, uh, yeah, nothing that he could, uh, ostensibly nothing that he could do, really. Alright. Swings him with... The gear hulk. The gear hulk goes hulk. down to 14. And, well, I, I'm not quite sure what Zoran really has oh, to no. deal with this goodness. I think... All the... All the bombs. All the bombs. Yeah. Kelvin, Kelvin here probably going to bring back a Scarab God or... Clean Sleeve. Oh, wow. A okay. second Torrential. Wow, going for the value. Yeah, it's going to cast Push. Yep. Okay, so... Uh, well, yeah. the advantage, unless there's wow. a Fumigate here, yep. uh, Torren doesn't have a chance. Yep. Alright, so Kelvin here takes it one game to zero. I think, yeah, Kelvin's deck kind of preys a little bit on uh, Torren's... Thrones deck, uh, Kelvin's going a little bit more control, the control path. He did get to go first, which means that he had access to stuff like Essence Scatter, Cast Down, and, you know, just allow him to play tap lands early on in the game. Uh, but let's see if his deck operates uh, the same when on the, pl uh, when on the draw. Yeah. Let's take a look at their... Uh, their yeah, sideboard options, shall we? Yeah. All right. So, what does Kelvin have in his sideboard? Kelvin has one Argyle's Bloodfast for the slower matches, mm -hmm. three Duress against Control, two Essence Extraction for the aggressive red decks, three gif Gifted Eaterborn, uh, the 
uh, three negates, one never to return, and two, Yahani's expertise. Wow. So I think, <laughs> you know, I I definitely going to bring in like two Yahani, the two Yahani's expertise. Right. And probably the essence extractions. Yeah. Uh, they're good against the black creatures. Right. Um, but not gifted either bond because I mean the two three just doesn't match up well against the first strikers that yeah. Torrent has. Uh, probably take out some number of like Argus Bloodfast from his deck. And Siren? as well as yeah, just one August Bloodfast. Oh um, yeah. And uh I don't know, maybe the, the, the Doomfall maybe a little bit too slow. Slow, yeah. Who knows? Who I, I knows? think Doomfall is slow because if you're on the if you're on the draw, mm-hmm. right, then he would have like more than one creature down by then. Yep. And Doomfall would just get rid of his worst creature. Yeah. You know, and and, it, and there's nothing much good to exile from from Torrent's hand, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at Torrance's uh sideboard. He has two Angel of Sanctions, two Plague Mare, two Remorseful Clerics, oh. two Argus Bloodfast, two Ixalan's Binding, two Downfall uh, Doomfall. Down- Doomfall and, and three, three Duress. Dudes. Uh, Torrent might be tricked into bringing in the duress <laughs> because Calvin's deck is actually just uh, there are a lot heavy of spells. Yeah, there are a lot of spells. Uh, but it's also a very heavy creature deck. I think the duresses are definitely a good choice. Ixalan's mm. binding is also a very good choice. Right, because you you binding one bolus, he can't cast anymore. Yeah, <laughs> and you saw. I mean, like he did see. Uh, did you see Scarab God? No, no, he didn't see a Scarab God. Scarab so. Scarab. Uh, but he might bring in the remorseful cleric because he saw a mm. little bit in the uh what the Liliana, Liliana yeah. So he might want to bring in a uh, uh, remorseful cleric that I have not seen today. Like this this card, like mm. and it's a very powerful. So this is one sided. Yeah, remorseful cleric is exile target player's graveyard. I mean, we were talking about yeah. it uh, just now, where uh you, you know, you you we were talking about like options for for either deck. Uh, to to nuke the graveyards, but this this is definitely this is definitely uh one sided. It's not symmetrical. Not like the silent gravestone or you know yeah or, or cook, cook, cook of cook condemnation. condemnation and stuff it's like, like a nail spell bomb effect. So this is like yeah, exile all creature all cards from target oh, players yeah. graveyard. This is this is gonna do the job, right? So you might bring it in. Yeah, it was um Kelvin Chu does have Gilhawk and you kinda uh, and the two one flyer can bring in the beats early. Right. Yeah. And then So actually Kelvin might be sideboarding out his Death's Majesty, Liliana, because uh Torrent seems to be the aggressive deck here. Mm-hmm. So Kelvin just wants to be able to remove Torrent's threats one for one, one for one, mm-hmm. and then when Torrent runs out of threats, he would then cast something like uh, Nico Bolas or maybe a uh, Gilhawk to flashback. Uh, does he run? Uh, does he run? Oh, it doesn't run any Glimmer of Genius. Hmm. It doesn't run any Glimmer of Genius, but. Glincy Siphoner can can give uh Kelvin card advantage that Zoran does not have in his deck, mm. which is the downside of aggro decks. Yeah. yeah. Right. Kelvin mm. gonna I mean, go second. Zoran. I, I yeah, I I think Kelvin's deck just preys upon like all these uh Aggressive decks, but not as aggressive as like mono red. Yeah. Right. It's like it a jun deck, cause like every spell is pretty it's much like a one threat. For one. Yeah, yeah, it's one for one. You and then play a threat, and then you have an answer. If not, you know, if you do, mm. then you know. And it's got a lot of recursion. I mean, uh, you play champion of wits. Right. You know, cycle through your cards. Make sure that you get you know something something good to. Uh, you know, good to cast or like make sure that you you hit your land drops. Do rest here on Kelvin's side. He is Ooh. going to, oh, start to take apart this hand, and we do see a remorseful cleric. Yeah, oh, and that then is a nice. Johnny. Wow, and then a Johnny <laughs> cast out remorseful <clears throat> cleric. A Johnny. I'm, yeah. Depending on his hand, I I will either take cast out or Johnny. If I have threats, I'll take cast out. If I don't, ha- if I have answers. I'll it, take the yeah, yeah. no, I I'll, I'll probably take the cast out, especially since he's got a second second duress, yeah. Duress, right. 
Like, like, <laughs> Waste no time in casting the second duress. Yeah, that the consideration whether mm. to cast that second duress or not, that's I think that's quite important. But now it looks like a remorseful cleric is gonna hit the battlefield. No, he's just gonna try to draw cards, uh, to make up for the uh Yeah, the two duress. The two duresses. Mm. And is this a champion, champion of wits? Yeah. Yep. He's probably going to chuck the Fatal Push. push. Wow, mm. and a third Duress as well. Uh, I think... There's no yeah. There's no reason why, yeah. you, need, why you need to. Mm. Especially since you got answers now. Yeah, he pretty much knows Soren's hand. Mm -hmm. Yep, right. so all three... Wow, all three Duresses. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting he actually bought it in three Duress against a creature deck. I mean, a deck It's not runs. really... Yeah, it's... Uh, it, okay, so it's mostly creature deck, which is why, yeah, I'm I'm quite curious why Kelvin brought in... Maybe Duress is just good. Yeah, it's very good against... um, What's that? The... Night of, uh, not the... Uh, the History of Banalia. Ah, right. yeah. So, like, yeah. It's very, it very easily it's takes it down. Duress is the... Inquisition of Kozilek of <laughs> <laughs> of a <laughs> standard <laughs> yeah. remorseful cleric here and passes the turn I, especially after like Kelvin uh, you know dropped the the fatal push yeah coast is clear the cleric can hit yeah Kelvin's never gonna cast that memory part now unless <laughs> he gets rid of the uh, the cleric yeah Well, <laughs> and start probably gonna bounce the uh, our girl's blood fast, maybe, or the cleric to the top. Mm. No, nope. he chooses to do neither. I think he should hold his. Uh <coughs> Yeah. Should hold his uh, uh commit, yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, the knight. Oh, this is where fatal push would eh, no, oh uh, no, fatal, fatal push, push yeah. would have been useless. Yeah, he yeah. needs expertise. This is where yeah, yeah, he needs you definitely expertise. want like <coughs> yeah, needs expertise. Oh, what are you going to cast free off it? What? What are you going to cast free off off the Yahani? Oh, so many things. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what does he have. Uh, probably probably any, just any a amount of like removal, champion of wits, maybe yeah, champion of wits, siphoner, maybe. yeah, uh true. doom fall, cast down if they didn't if it didn't really kill Essence Extraction. Uh, if yeah, he Essence Extraction if you're bringing it in. Yeah. Uh usually we have cleared the, the entire board already by right. then. Uh, I think a really cool combo would be do your Hanese expertise into uh, never to return. That would mean you'll get rid of that planeswalker and all the creatures. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Alright. Mm. Kelvin is stuck on four mana, so that's not good for him. He needs to be hitting every preferably hitting every land drop and yeah, yeah he's going to oh, he is the control. I'm just gonna exile <coughs> all your graveyard. Well mm. you know, Kelvin's yeah. not gonna be casting the memory anytime soon, so Yeah. Uh you know, I think he's fine with that. Yeah. Uh, Argus Bloodfast here doing some work for Tauren, just getting him, making sure that he's making the land drops. But yeah, I think this with really isn't the deck to to be able to do this. Yeah, but All right. So able to exile the hmm. Ooh, cast out. Hmm. So the thing is getting exiled here on both players' boards. <laughs> <laughs> one getting doom fell, and then the other one getting cast out. And oh history, wow. history, history of banalia. Really okay, so that's a pretty good draw. Yeah. On Toran's side. See, so all the draws from Argus Bloodfast if uh have actually helped him keep toe to toe with Kelvin, because mm. all Kelvin's doing is just one for oneing. But Toran has been drawing more yep. cards than him. Yep. Yeah. And Liliana here, yeah, probably just gonna mill and create a zombie token. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. oh wow! Okay, that's okay, not so that bad. bad. It's a pretty yeah. good card to have oh. in your graveyard. All Kevin needs is lens now. Yep. <laughs> Argus Bloodfast. Go draw me extra cards. Oh. Draw me extra cards. Draw He's down again. to six. Wow. Oh, this is a very very precarious oh, position that Torren put himself into, but he draws a lot of cards. Yeah, I think it's fine too because you have creatures you can sacrifice to. To gain life once it transforms into the land. Mm. Yeah. 
Ooh, binding. Nicholas binding here just in time. Hmm. Ooh, a second. Get history <laughs> of Benalia. Goodness. Wow. Pound goodness, play. goodness. That's going to be quite a few. It's going to be a beating, man. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be quite a beating. <laughs> the zombie is not going anywhere. <laughs> it's on block okay. duty. What's that? Scarab God. So Car Scarab God here, well, it's on blocking duty, but. So Thorne can stack the triggers here so that he gets the knight first, then the third, well, the third one triggers. So uh, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. I mean, uh. like. It's only until end of 4-3, right? Yeah. But they do become 4-3s. So. Uh, he could use... Okay, so he could use his <coughs> Ifna Deadlands. Right. Know, push down the... Zombie. Uh, no, not the zombie. Push down the Scarab God. Oh, right. Yeah, and then and have it's it a trade. Lot of it's a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. And have Scarab God actually die from blocking. Uh, If it wants to block... I mean, like, yeah. Kelvin could just take 8 points of damage, right? And, uh, is and that call eight? it a day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he will drop down to 10. If there's an Exalines binding mm. here, that would be the best outcome. Not that surprising if he does. Cause, oh, the mom try to draw, cuts. I mean, like... Okay, so here's the danger. Mm. Like, if you can use your black mana to try to draw, right? Yeah. But then you don't have enough black mana <laughs> in the dead lands. Oh, which yeah. I think <laughs> you, should be, you should be using. Uh, mm. If Kelvin brings back the Nicobolas with... Scarab God. Uh, with Scarab God, <laughs> he can't flip it. But it's still mm. a very powerful card. So, yeah. all right, I'll give us blood fast. Let's try. Let's <laughs> go for it, folks. One time, it goes down to four. All right. Yeah. <coughs> Come on. Come on, one time. Wow, Johnny here is a pretty good draw too. <laughs> he can pump up his knight. Goodness. <laughs> plus okay. two, plus one, plus one counters. Right? What does Johnny? Okay, let's bring up Johnny. <laughs> he he pumps your creatures. Wow. I know you can put like two two plus one plus one counters oh, on your creature. A yeah, it's A plus one on each oh, of and up then to two. You can return you can return uh knight, basically. A knight, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so <coughs> there are five three each. Hmm. That's quite painful. Wow. <laughs> Even a scarab got like Torrent's <laughs> gonna go down to two. Oh uh, Kelvin, Kelvin. Uh no, uh, Kelvin. Kelvin. If oh, he's going down to that he'll go down to eight. But Torres oh, yeah. will definitely going down to two because, or he might even go all the way down to one, if Kelvin takes back the Nico Bolas at the beginning of up, uh, at the upkeep step. Oh yeah. Before with the uh, Scarab God trigger on the stack. Right. So. Mm. I mean, this all uh, this all considerations, right? And uh, next turn. Next turn, Torrent it's looks like blocking. he can draw. Yeah. Uh, he can get himself out of this um, situation. Situation, but let's see. Kelvin here gets two <laughs> He gets two he scribes. gets two scribes because like the, the yeah that token there is a zombie. The token's a zombie, and Scarab God is also a zombie because uh, he brought it back with the Liliana. Oh, right? he did he bring did? It back the Liliana? No, did he cast it. No, he I think he cast it. Okay, so yeah, brings back the Nicobolas. Right, so I'm going to discard. discard a card. Yeah. Additional blood fast, yeah. yeah. So he gets to scry two. They're all on blocking duty, of course. <laughs> and Ooh. scry two. What's that? It's a land and something. Uh, Don't know if he needs the land or not. Cast down would be great. I so think he, he needs the land. Yeah, so he wants to draw the land. Yep, he. Does yep, he draws the island. That's a cast down. Okay, so that's a cast down, which is great. I think they're all on blocking duty. Yeah. <laughs> he cannot flip though. Yeah. He can't flip <coughs> the. Uh, not say he can't flip the Nicobolas. He cannot let Torren flip his Arguel's blood fast. Otherwise yeah. that cast down is not not as effective. Yeah. If he wants if he wants, he got to kill now, mm. like now now. Yeah, because in the long run, Torrance just gonna gain a lot of life mm -hmm. by just, just from the Argus, but yeah, if I know. I mean, I can see him gaining at least four, four life, mm. maybe more, if he has creatures. Yeah. Hmm. Really close game. He 
Kelvin is seeing whether seeing whether if uh, he can end the game next turn because he knows that the blood fast will probably flip <coughs> now, I think he casts his removal this turn because when blood fast flips right whatever removal he casts on the creature Zoran can just yeah, Zoran can just um sacrifice it to the temple. Yeah. And you just gain the life. So it's like you are not really using your removal spell to the maximum mm -hmm. efficiency. Yeah. yeah, so can we show might be let me beat in here? Does he want? Try, I, okay, so you definitely should try to be in, right, with the scarab god. The knights are three 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 two two. So Zoran will block with the three three knight and the two two knight if he attacks with the scarab god. But I Oh yeah. No, I, I don't I don't think you should. Oh he is! And and Zoran's gonna block and he can probably cast uh, down it? No, nope. it's not gonna do it. Yeah. It's a bit risky because you need him you need Zoran to actually. No, I would I would block just it. like chum block. Mm. Then Okay, yeah. so I'll right, go flat so fast. Upkeep. Upkeep. Trigger. Now wait. <laughs> wait. Calvin's thinking on the stack. I think it's the best time to fire his cast down. Nope. He's not gonna fire his cast okay. down. Draw. History of Benalia trigger. Ooh. I'll get plus two plus one. Okay. So Johnny gonna pump up. Five four knights. Two five four knights and one four three. Mm. Yeah. And possibly even bigger. Is Johnny gonna pump up his gang? I think he should. If he Five, six, six, five. The largest the knights. So now, could yeah. Go. So now all the knights are what? Six, five, six, five, and five. No, five, four. They're still five, five fours. Four. Oh, yeah. If Ajani pumps them, then uh, they will become six, five. The one with the two, two, one, one oh, counters okay. on them. All right. Yeah. Two, two, three, three, five. Yeah. Four, five, four, six, five. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, they're vigilant, so I think Toron sh should just, just attack, right? force Kevin to block here. Yeah. I'm thinking about using the If Near Dead Lens. Probably. Yeah. I think if you use the If Near Dead Lens, then Kelvin has no good blocks on Scarab on God. On one, yeah. Yeah. So you tick up. Tick up. If Near Dead Lens. No, no, don't attack. You have a no. Johnny. If Near Dead Lens. You have a Johnny. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's okay. out. Oh, the uh, zombie. Uh, zombie, yeah. Okay, so he removes one blocker, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I think the intention here is to bring in. Uh, sorry, is to. To take back the remorseful spirit. Uh, so I okay. So if Kelvin here blocks with the Scarab God, the intention is to probably take back the Remorseful Spirit, and then nuke the the graveyard while the Scarab God is in mm -hmm. the graveyard. Torin, not deciding to use the temple to sacrifice his own token creature. Yeah, that's strange. I oh, I, I think, think he missed it. I think that's a yeah. I think he missed it unless. Temple doesn't allow you to sack non-token, but doesn't make sense, right? Thing, Argwells. Okay. Mm. Yeah, the 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 yeah, other sacri side just sacrifice. Yeah, the just creature, sacrifice the creature. You gain, you gain life equal to sacrifice creature stuff. Or maybe he wants the mana, but no, he. Mm. Okay, so he brings back remorseful spirit. All right. It's gonna be on blocking duty. Uh, yep. he goes down to. To two. Which then goes down to one because Scarecrow is gonna. Yeah, so it goes down to trigger. one. Is there any are any creatures in the graveyard? Oh no, there aren't. No. Oh, right, yeah, because otherwise Kelvin would yeah. have just like yeah. Kelvin would have just gone for it. Yeah. So this this game is like down to the wire. Woo. Yeah, I'm surprised Soren like did not. Yeah. Sacrifice his creature there. Yeah. That's true. I'm gonna try to get rid of your Argyle's blood fast. I mean, how many points of life gain would that be? 5-4, right? That will be 4 points of life. He'll be at 5. Yeah. Then Man. he wouldn't have to worry so much. Yeah. 
He didn't even have to. He wouldn't even have to bring the. Ah, uh, now he's getting feel of ruin, and now oh, so he's using yep, it now, okay. man. So now so I'm gonna use this. He missed one activation. That's kind of. It's kind of a big. Okay, so it's at four. You will give like, okay lah. I mean, like it's one extra life, right? But yeah, yeah. I mean, he could be much higher right now, and he didn't have to worry about the scarab god drain drain triggers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> but I can see this loop coming on with like the remorseful cleric and the uh, Johnny. <laughs> you, know, you basically just keep <laughs> exiling. You bring it back, exile it, second exile it. You know. Yeah. I mean, I mean like. It's like you not have any creature cards in your graveyard. If yeah, you need six, but you want to wipe the board. Oh, what a great draw! He <laughs> is going to. Oh wow! Okay. So the handshake out. Kelvin wins it two games to zero. Uh, Torren here gets taken down. Uh, Kelvin will proceed to the finals. Kelvin is already qualified for the. Um, is he? Oh, okay. So it's most likely he's qualified. So the yeah. player with the most number of pro points, but it might not be Kelvin Chu this year because like he might be Singapore's platinum pro. But um, but uh, yeah, actually no, he's been he's been grinding out at the, at the GPS. Yeah, but we won't know. We won't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, all right. Would be cool though. I think it will definitely. Have more viewers if, if maybe <laughs> maybe pros, well the, if Kelvin is playing. Pros, yeah. I mean, we have team team Grey Ogre Games, right? Ernest yeah, Lim, Ernest Lim. Uh, uh, Felix. Know, Felix. Uh, Chin Hao. Oh, Chin Hao doesn't play. So yeah. Chin Hao doesn't play. A oh, whole you. bunch of them. Yeah. All right, we are going to go for a short break while they set up, and we need to set up too. So uh, so yeah, do join us in a bit. We'll be right back.